last but not least is my cancers. The lover's card. Pursuing the self for you is really about integrating both masculine and feminine sides of ourselves in this moment. And asking ourselves, what would we consciously like to be aiming towards? What would we like our future self to look like? You know, can I imagine my highest self? Can I project that forward? And can I start moving in honor of it? Not just like I'm demanding that this integration happening uh, happen and I'm demanding that, you know, I get fulfilled and not just I'm, I'm waiting to be fulfilled and I'm, I'm learning and observing so that I can understand how to fulfill myself. It's combining these things. It's this alchemical marriage. It's this first stage of ultimate union so that you can die to the old self. And start truly focusing on what it is that you actually seek to become. What you actually seek to bring into this world by the virtue of you learning yourself more deeply. What does that look like? And how can you create safety in the sense of who you are by merging masculine and feminine energy together and aiming it at a transcendent possible future for yourself? And when you do this, in the spirit of illumination, in the spirit of what you've learned so far, you know, you are enacting a new era. You are moving towards, you know, the, the birthing of who you can be. Because, you know, while we have this principal masculine energy within us and this principal feminine energy within us, when we get it together, when we get it in union at these different stages, what we have are these different alchemical results, these different Christ childs that are born out of that alchemical fire, that union, that copulation. It's about the process of sex, death, and rebirth here. And you are being asked to fully come into union with yourself. To interface with the idea of the highest self. What that looks like projected forward. And for you to start evaluating what, what masculine energies do you need to bring forward more. And what feminine energies do you bring, need to bring forward more. So both these sides of yourself feel confident. To come together, knowing that they are serving your ultimate fulfillment, knowing that this synthesis is going to be the thing that needs to happen so that you can interact with that dimension, with the fountain dimension, where all of a sudden that cup is filling itself to overflowing and you can spill that out into the other and where love becomes not just this thing that we experience internally, but this thing that we can give to other beings in our society and the world at large. You know, this is where we expand on our concept of home, where we recognize how we can further instigate our own growth and change in a safe way, in a way that is, that is totally held internally. And when we learn that in a real way, then we can start safely expressing that in, the out, that in the outer world. We can start working and moving towards things that maybe we felt fearful of. Maybe we felt like our shell wasn't protecting us enough from. And so we had to like retreat inside of it. And we didn't have feel free to explore what was really for us. But I think when we start finally copulating with the fullness of who we are, recognizing that when we do this integrative work, this integrative action, the result that comes out of it is a part of ourselves that we didn't know we had. And this part of us can be the little baby that ends up filling our cup, you know? And I know like in, in, in terms of like the real world, you never want to have a baby to make your life better, right? But in terms of the alchemical marriage of the internal state, when we make that union happen and we get that child as a result, the, the child of a conscious union, what that is is a new dimension, a new aspect of ourselves that can embrace so much more that is not, you know, weighed down with past 
pains and past traumas. It's a new way of interfacing with the world and a new way that we, a new dimension through which we can experience fulfillment and experience our desires being met and experience feeling full in this world.